boom, same kind of lighting, sorry y'all, uh, anyway, hey y'all, friends, family, neighbors, welcome back to Southern Style, my name is Jesse Ray Jump, and we're talking about the first time dipping, yeah, I used to dip, it's shameful, but anyways, we're gonna start off, when I was 13 was the first time I ever dipped, and I'm like, my dad dipped, so, I looked down, Ooh, the Stoker's can so old. Anyways, I looked down and I'm like, what's my dad do? I'll just ask one of my older buddies that who got a beard in the eighth grade. Yeah, that was a thing back in the day. Leave me alone. Sixteen now, three years ago. So I said, Give me here's five bucks, go give me a can of Stokers. So he gets me can Stokers. And that's pretty neat. Took that for a while. Uh but turns out I didn't really like Stokers. <clears throat> So I'm like, what, a, what, what, what is dip? You know, I'm, I still get sick after I do it. So I learned what fine cup. I learned what Copenhagen is. So I went on to Copenhagen fine cut, because I didn't know the difference between long cut and fine cut. So I was on to the um, blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. I was on to the fine cut. Hate it, shit, cut and pinch it. Then I learned what pouches were, so I went over to the old Grizzly. Then, realized what a nasty, like truly what a nasty habit it was. You know, before the old mason jar was invented. Um, so I went to Outlaw in Smoky Mountain. I have a Smoky Mountain can. I made a video like a few days ago about it. I'm not going to go get it. This is just out of my cane collection. So, Outlaw bought me a roll of that. Stuck to that for a while, you know. Then we went on, finally learned Long Cut was, you know, on the Grizzly Long Cut. And that is, you know, the first time dipping. Now, I will tell you my actual first story. And it's when I was 13, and I just got Stokers. So, oh man, you're breaking classic cans, bulls. So this Stokers right here is actually truly the first can of dip I ever had. Well, not really. This is just another one I acquired because I collect cans. Um, I remember the first time I tried it, I was 13. I didn't know what to do, boys. I just... Plopped it right down on my tongue. Sat there. I'm like, I know I need to spit it. You can't swallow it. So I'm spitting it in the sink, spitting it in the toilet, spitting it in the bathtub. What do you, what do, you do, boys? Um, all of a sudden, I start feeling nausea. You know, like that nicotine buzz, like for the first time ever. Just a young little 13-year-old lad. And keep in mind, I didn't even vape. I didn't smoke cigar rats or cigars, wasn't out there Andrew Tating around at 13. Uh, I felt sick, man, and I uh, I spit it out, and I was like nauseous, oh, 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 feeling like shit. So I thought I was dying because God had struck me down for the sin of smokeless tobacco, and um. I'm out there, I'm praying on the ground, God, God, please save me, God, God, please help me, please, dear Lord, oh, I don't want to die, I made a mistake, uh, prayed some more, went to bed, woke up next morning, I was fine, thank you, Jesus, that sounded really blasphemous to the Holy Spirit, but, um, this goddamn cat, if I'm talking too fast for y'all, Cause I don't like blaze through that story. Gotta work on my storytelling a little bit. This is not the cat that's causing problems. This is the one that's getting beat up by the problems. Marbles, go do stuff. Be a cat. Quit running in fear from the other cat that's half your age. Oh, this is Boss Hog. He's been in the video before. He's a troublemaker. He's a jerk. You're a mean ass. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, I woke up next morning. Didn't touch it again until I was 14. 
freshman. Now, when I was a freshman, oh man, I'm about to yank this cat's tail out of his head. He keeps attacking the other cat. He was I was 14, or sorry, not 14, but yeah, I was a freshman. It was the first time I tried, um, I guess, a nicotine pouch when I was 14. I guess it was called. I guess it was Zen. There's these on things. I don't know what it was. My buddy handed it to me. It looked and smelled like a little spearmint chewing gum, so I popped it in. I swallowed it because you weren't allowed to chew gum when I was a freshman, I think. I don't know. I always thought that was a rule at school that you weren't allowed to chew gum, but I get sick, throw up everywhere in my fourth block classroom. Just everywhere. And I like make eye contact with the teacher and I run to the bus. So that's these stories. That's what these cans have to tell. A little bit of the history of my life, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good day, y'all, friends, family, and neighbors. Yeah, I recorded this video last night right after the Zen video, so I wouldn't have to do anything today, and I could have just a lazy upload day. But anyway, here's here's your next segment. Um, before I say, have a good day, y'all, friends, family, and neighbors. Um, what was your first dip ever? Like, just tell me in the comments what it's. Red man, Kodiak, whatever, just tell me down below if y'all want to. Um, just tell me what the first one was. Have a good day, y'all, friends, family, and neighbors.